Stephen, I can see just how hard that one was to take for you. How do you assess the game here today? I thought for 60 minutes we played well. Um, you know, we had chances. Cads is a great chance when he, he goes through before the, the end of the first half. And he hits a crossbar. Um, and David Turnbull puts a super ball through for Curtis Main to go through one on one. And, you know, you've got to take one of those chances. You can see towards the end of the game, the boys losing confidence and the balls up to the strikers are poor. And, and I think the experienced players now need to step up and take responsibility as well. You know, with 60 minutes gone, we made two positive substitutions because we were still trying to protect Charles Dunn a little bit. Um, we had to take Aaron off early on with a hamstring injury, so we're limited what we could do. But you know, I thought the subs that came on didn't, you know, didn't give us a life that we wanted them to give us. And you know, we we faded away into that game. You can see that people need to stand up now and be counted. You know, instead of playing with fear that they might make a mistake, actually the opposite. What David Turnbull done and Alan Campbell done was, you know, give me the ball and I might make something happen. So we need that. We need people to stand up and and, and be counted now. I guess it might be harder to take when you look at the, the course of the game, probably more possession, more chances, good chances, but just couldn't make it count at the end of the day. Yeah, I keep saying possession doesn't win football matches. We had lots of possession, we passed the ball around, we got it wide, deliver balls into the box, but uh, you know, if you don't take them chances, you're not going to win football matches. Um, and then it's a sloppy piece of defending at the end. You know, We pride ourselves on, on trying to keep clean sheets, being good from set plays, and we got done, so we've only ourselves to blame. We focus on ourselves, of course, but not much has changed in the league, so it adds extra emphasis into our next game against St Mirren as well, doesn't it? Yeah, the disappointing thing is a chance to go a bit clearer of that there with the results. So it's a big game against St Mirren, yeah, and then we've got Dundee up next, so we're we're well aware they're two massive games for us. And, and now it's going to take characters. You know, uh, I actually thought the fans were very good to the boys today. You know, they, they stood by them, they waited at the end, they voiced their opinion, which is right, you know, that's what fans should do. Um, and now they have to give something back, and it's, you know, the younger boys are carrying the older boys at the moment, so I think they need to stand up because counted we need to put players on the pitch that are going to give absolutely everything and you know I take my part of the blame the, the substitutions didn't work today we thought we would we put boys on and, and change the game we thought we'd take the game to them with a striker and a wide man we were limited obviously with Charles we didn't know if he'd get 90 minutes or not but um, that didn't happen so I take my share of the responsibility and we need to be big and brave and people stand up now just finally to round things off, obviously we spoke about Charles Dunn coming through that game, of course Aaron Taylor Sinclair forced off early, Tom Aldred off the pitch when the goal goes in, how are the boys looking physically after that? Yeah, I think anything that could go against us at the moment is, but uh, you know, if we take the positive out of it, we've, uh, I think you see how much we missed Charles Dunn, he was excellent today. I thought young David Turnbull you know, showed more character and uh, for want of a better word, I probably won't say that in camera, but he, he showed a lot of style to get on the ball, as did Alan Campbell. And some of the more experienced boys didn't, you know, maybe didn't take a touch when they should have done. And as I say, we still created chances for 60 minutes. You know, I thought we were at it. We really took the game to them, but you can see the confidence draining out of the boys when it doesn't quite happen. So you've got to deal with adversity and we have to stand up. Thanks, Stephen. OK, cheers, Lars.